I know this is a long word, but I encourage you to take the time to read through this prophetic word, because I believe this is a very important word for the new era we have entered. Over the last few years, the Lord has been speaking to me a lot about how important it will be and is in this new era to be a friend of God and living in deep intimacy with Him. To be positioned close to His heart asking Him to develop in us eyes that see, ears that hear, and a heart that discerns His ways. He showed me that if we aren't living in that place of deep intimacy, close to His heart, postured in humility to allow the Spirit of God to school us in His ways, that many would be offended in this new era at the way that God moves, who He uses and what it looks like. This conviction has continued to grow stronger and stronger within me over the past few months, and recently I heard the Lord speak over the body of Christ. Be careful not to criticize the ways I am moving in this new era. When the Lord spoke this, instantly the Lord highlighted the mouth to me again. There was such a strong sense that surrounded me, do not be quick to judge something as not God, because it doesn't fit the box or paradigm that you think it should. This is the era of the unexpected. This is the era where God is going to do things so out of the box, because He is wanting to reveal His majesty, His glory, His power. We have only just begun to see a drop in the ocean of what God is going to do in this new era. God is going to demonstrate His power, His glory, His splendor in ways that we have never seen before, but it requires having eyes to see and ears to hear. Matthew 13 10-16 has been burning in me. Then his disciples approached Jesus and asked, Why do you always speak to people in these hard-to-understand parables? He explained, You've been given the intimate experience of insight into the hidden truths and mysteries of the realm of heaven's kingdom, but they have not. For everyone who listens with an open heart will receive progressively more revelation until he has more than enough. But those who don't listen with an open, teachable heart, even the understanding that they think they have will be taken from them. That is why I teach the people using parables, because they think they are looking for truth, yet because their hearts are unteachable, they never discover it. Although they will listen to me, they never fully perceive the message I speak. The prophecy of Isaiah describes them perfectly. Although they listen carefully to everything I speak, they don't understand a thing I say. They look and pretend to see, but the eyes of their hearts are closed. Their minds are dull and slow to perceive, their ears are plugged and are hard of hearing, and they have deliberately shut their eyes to the truth. Otherwise they would open their eyes to see, and open their ears to hear, and open their minds to understand. Then they would turn to me and let me instantly heal them. But your eyes are privileged, for they see. Delighted are your ears, for they are open to hear all these things. The Passion Translation The Lord is inviting the body of Christ into a place of partnering with Him in the greatest move of the Spirit of God that we have ever seen in the earth, but stewarding that move and partnering with Him requires hearts that are yielded in humility and those who are friends with God and are schooled in the ways of God. I felt the fear of God so strongly as the Lord spoke those words to me, be careful not to criticize the new things that I am doing in this new era. There is such a strong feeling in the atmosphere to watch your mouth in this new era like never before. Do not throw around careless words especially being quick to deem something as not God because it looks different to what you have experienced or seen before. There is a summoning of the Lord upon the people of God now. No matter what denomination, no matter what stream you flow in, what network you align with, there is a summoning from the heart of God right now into the place of intimacy, laying down opinions, preconceived ideas, judgments and expectations to ASK the Holy Spirit to reveal His truth, to reveal His ways and to lead us into all truth. This is the place of preparation for what is to come. This is the place of positioning to partner with God in what He is about to do. This is the place of stewarding this new move of His Spirit and not standing in the way of what God is doing. But when He, the Spirit of Truth, comes, He will guide you into all the truth, for He will not speak on His own initiative, but whatever He hears, He will speak, and He will disclose to you what is to come. John 16:13, New American Standard Bible 
This is the time to be in the word like never before and asking for wisdom and discernment. The Lord is calling his people deeper into the word of God in this new era. In this new era of acceleration, it is imperative that the people of God are deeper in the word of God and knowing the word of God more than ever. Do not allow business or distraction to keep you out of the word of God. Be schooled in the ways of God in the word as the Spirit of God illuminates truth to you. For the Lord is going to show you and confirm to you through the Word of God what He is doing in this new era. Even when it looks different, outside your comfort zone, paradigm or box, the Lord is going to confirm that it's Him through His Word. He will not step outside of His Word, He will not contradict His Word, He will confirm through His Word. The key is to approach the Word of God with a teachable heart of humility, to allow the Holy Spirit to show you what He needs to show you, even if the way He moves offends your mindsets. What He is going to do in the earth is going to be glorious. In the establishing of His kingdom upon the earth in this new era, some things will be dismantled, some things will be rearranged, some things will be shaken, and without eyes to see and ears to hear the temptation will be to shout, look what the enemy is doing but actually it is the hand of God dismantling and rearranging things that have been built not on foundations that are right or pure. It will be the hand of God that will dismantle and rearrange things that were part of the old season, and it's time for new structures, a new wineskin. Matthew 15,5-12 has been burning on my heart. The words of Jesus. But you teach that it's permissible to say to your parents when they are in financial need, Whatever gift you would have received from me I can keep for myself, since I dedicated it as an offering to God. This doesn't honor your father or mother. And you have elevated your tradition above the words of God. Frauds and hypocrites. Isaiah described you perfectly when he said, These people honor me only with their words, for their hearts are so very distant from me. They pretend to worship me, but their worship is nothing more than the empty traditions of men. Then Jesus turned to the crowd and said, Come, listen and open your heart to understand. What truly contaminates a person is not what he puts into his mouth, but what comes out of his mouth. That's what makes people defiled. Then his disciples approached him and said, Don't you know that what you just said offended the Pharisees? This is a very important warning from the Lord that all of us must take on board. We must be in the secret place, as friends of God knowing Him above all else in this new era, and not be found to be ones throwing stones, with our words, at what God is actually doing in the earth. Let us not be found standing in the way of what God is doing, rather than partnering with Him in the greatest move of the Spirit of God in the earth. The move of God in this new era, is going to expose the religious spirit unlike anything we have ever seen before. There is a separation, that is taking place in the body of Christ right now by the move of God that's beginning, and it is separation that is displaying those that know Him intimately and have eyes to see and ears to hear and live grounded and founded in the Word of God and know His heart, and those who don't. This is going to become more and more apparent as we venture into this new era. The heart of God is that all would draw close and partner with Him, but it is our responsibility to be positioned in humility. In the place of humility, the Spirit of God through His Word and His truth will break deception, pride and offense in this new era, in the hearts of many A.S. there is a drawing close to Him and humility that takes place. There's going to be a major tidal wave of streams coming together like never before, do not criticize it or stand in the way. The Lord showed me streams of all denominations coming together like never before in this new era. It is going to take place in ways we have never seen. There is going to be major demonstrations of unity that is going to take place in this mighty move of God that will take place in the earth. As I watched this take place, I heard the sound of murmuring and bickering in the spirit. I heard the sound of believers criticizing, speaking against and whispering, we don't partner with them, we do not align with them. This is the time to lay down offenses, to deal with anything in the heart that would hinder us from partnering with our brothers and sisters in Christ because of denomination differences or offenses. The streams are going to merge like never before 
and it is going to be under O anything. It will be under the name of Jesus Christ. In this new era the streams will come together to build together with God is building. Do not be offended at how God does this. Do not allow offense to keep you from flowing in the tidal wave of His Spirit bringing the streams together. It's time to let go and repent of pride, offense and bickering. It's time to ask the Holy Spirit to bring healing to the heart and greater revelation of the love of Jesus to embrace our brothers and sisters in Christ and stop throwing knives and stones at each other with our words. It's time to be people who walk in love, loving one another, honoring one another, and laying down our lives for our friends, John 15 13, and considering others better than ourselves. Philippians 2 3. This new era will see a greater manifestation of John 15. The shaking in the church, by the hand of God will bring to the surface more and more things that have stood in the way of the body of Christ walking in John 15. God is bringing purity to the church. God is purifying the body of Christ. The Lord is returning for a pure and spotless bride, Ephesians 5:27, and this new era the fire of God is already beginning to purify, expose, refine and purge to prepare us to walk in the purity and holiness that we are called to walk in, in Christ. There will be some upturning of the tables, by the hand of God more and more in this new era, to usher in purity in the body of Christ. Let us be people who are living in deep in the secret place, knowing Him, seeing Him and being taught by Him and learning His ways. Let us be found not criticizing what God is doing in this new era, if it looks completely different to what we expect. Let us be people that cry out, God make me ready. Teach me. Give me eyes that see and ears that hear to discern what you are doing and partner with you even if it offends my mind.